In 2014, we expect the airline industry to continue to grow. It basically what drives the airline traffic is global GDP as well as price of oil. In both cases, we think that uh, globally, economies, the U.S. economy is improving. Europe is still soft, but improving somewhat. The Asian economies continue to grow. So GDP overall is positive. Expect traffic to grow in, in 2014. Jet fuel is the highest expense that the airlines have. It's driven by the price of oil, obviously. Our expectation is that the supply of oil is, is uh, sufficient. So we don't expect the price of oil to, uh, to rise dramatically. The fastest growing markets have been in Asia, specifically China, but also other countries like Vietnam or the Philippines, Indonesia, Malaysia. These are all high growth markets. We've also seen a lot of growth in Latin America. Interestingly enough, one market where we see a tremendous amount of opportunities in the United States. It's not an emerging market, but it's a market that for the last 10 years, the airlines have been more involved in fixing their balance sheets and consolidation. And now it's time for those airlines to refleet. So we see a great opportunity to add aircraft in the United States. We believe that in the U.S. the consolidation for the most part is over. However, I do expect more consolidation internationally. From a consumer standpoint, we believe that consolidation actually in the long run will be beneficial to the consumer. I think that if the airline industry is profitable, it'll be able to offer as an industry the most efficient and safe form of transportation. Near term, concerns about higher fares, I think will be moderated because there is enough competition. There are low cost carriers that are there to step in if the larger airlines increase fares. When we look at CIT's uh, current order book, the focus is on the new modern technology aircraft. So we have the 787, we'll be taking delivery of our first 787 in 2014. We have the A350, on the narrow body side we have the A320neo and then the 737 MAX. Embraer is coming out with a E2 version of their very popular E-Jet. CIT has in our portfolio the E-Jet from Embraer. We'll take a hard look at the E2. It's a good sized airplane that fits in our portfolio. Boeing is also, uh, has also announced that they'll be launching the 777X. That's going to be a large, a wide body, long haul aircraft, which we think will be very, very successful in the marketplace as well. When we look at how financing of aircraft has changed over the years, you see that the operating lease in particular has become more popular. Today, about 40% of the aircraft are financed through the operating lease. Our expectation is that that number will probably grow to about 50% over the next 10 years. And the primary benefit for an airline to use the operating lease is that they don't tie up their own cash. They're not using their balance sheet. CIT is one of the largest lessors with a $10 billion in assets and 150 aircraft on order. We strive to be relevant within the space with the airline customers as well as with the OEMs. It's important that when the OEMs are discussing a new product, a new engine, a new airframe, that we get a seat at the table, that we get to express our opinion. And with the airlines, it's also important they understand that we have the products that they need, whether it's brand new aircraft, it could be bank debt, it could be a sale leaseback of their existing portfolio. CIT is unique in that we are able to offer multiple products so we believe this gives us a unique opportunity to put our knowledge to work in the United States and abroad.